Oh, hello. <laughs> Didn't see you come in there. I'm still pondering this disk drive thing and how I can get this set up so that I can test this. See, as you may remember, there were some switches installed. And now, yeah, yeah, yeah. this is complicating everything. See, I have done this before. Not just with disk drives, but other things. Where you set something up beside them. And you do the switches, not the switches, you do the connectors, and, you know, you know, you know, you know. But this circuit board, oh, it pesters me. Oh. It does tremendously. So if I put the circuit board there, will everything reach? I don't know. All right, it doesn't really matter if I have the power one. It does not. What I really need is the read right hand. So, okay, just to catch you up in case you're not watching, I got a disk drive, it's got some switches on it, they're a pain. One of them turns off the right protect switch, one of them changes the device between 8 and 9, but it won't read a disk or anything. So I'm just trying to test the actual drive mechanism on a disk drive that I know works. This one oh, works. Actually, at the moment, this disk drive has three, no, four, three, four of, whoa, don't fall down, don't fall down, don't fall down, four of the chips off the circuit board from the disk drive that won't work. It does, okay. All right, so, now the way you make sure you got these right is there's a little lip on the side of the connectors. And the lip goes in. Also, the kind of, let me just get this in here, the connectors have little kind of windows on the front where you can see the connector, and they, they are also pointing in. So I think at this moment that I have everything connected. So that this drive here will now control this drive, just the mechanism, here. That's what I think. So if I turn this on. Oh. Well, it didn't spin. Alright, what have I done? What have I done? What have I done? What have I done? What have I done?
something is not right here. Funky ass switch here. That makes no difference. Flip this funky ass switch here. Yep. That makes no difference. Alright, what have I forgotten? I'm going to just ever so gently. Neglected to do. Is it something to do? Well, I don't. Uh, what is going on here? I have. I have done this before. Alright. I'm going to take that connector off. This connector back on. Oh, do I have it on right? That is the question. Do I have it on right? Let's turn this on. does look like it goes to the motor. Ha! Tussie maka. Okay. It's funny how to get at the right angle or the wrong angle with this weird thing sitting here and things happen or they don't. All right, so oh, always double check your connectors. Okay. Uh -oh. oh no, my documentation has come off. definitely need for the monitor and the disk drive and power. Alright, so monitor on disk drive. On. Power. On. Disk drive responding as per it should. Oh, and the test demo disk is here. 
So, I am loading the directory. Have I got it? Yes, I do. My gut tells me this is not going to work. I will press it, it will go chatter, and say screw you. I clean the head. I really think the drive mechanism itself, the head, is probably toast. I can clean it some more, but I just don't think it's going to make any difference. So, let's see what happens. Hmm. Well, it fought some. Or it's just more. Than it did before. I'm going to try and initialize this. See if a good head banging will help it. No. So far, I have been using disks that I am familiar with, and the results have not come well. I'm going to just try this disk here. This is the music disk I found amongst the funny disks. You know, it's, it's, it's doing more fighting. It's trying. Which is more than what it did. Ooh, I thought it had it. It's fighting. It wants to live. But it is not happening. I'm going to take this disc out. Now, as I look at both of these, see, the head itself is supposed to be like a line. Maybe it just needs more. Now there also could be an alignment issue. But here's what I'm going to do. And then I will leave these to sit. Normally I would do that up, but I'm not going to. I'm going at the drive here, which I know works. And I'm going to twist and twist and turn on the head so I can get a look. Like, I know this one works. And I know it has been working, but of course, cleaning the head. I mean, you don't want to do it too often. But I just want to get a look. And I don't really see tons of residue like I did on the other one. But one thing that does look a little different, a little bit, hard to see. Maybe, uh, maybe there's still more dirt to be dealt with on this one. Maybe. So, I'm going to go for the head. not so easy to get at it in this sideways, twisted up, dick around configuration. 
but I still think I see more. More stuff on it. No, I don't know. It's just hard to describe. It just doesn't look. Mind you, these heads are. These are two different drive mechanisms. So it may be the head looks a little different. Maybe. But it looks pretty clean there. And I don't see tons of residue like I did before. I don't. They do look a little different. Though, but remember, this is a Neutronics. Neutronics? Yeah, Neutronics. And this is the other. Suddenly the name escapes me. Alcohol is always a good thing to clean up some other things. It is that's built. There we go. Let's get some dust out. There, some dirt. Now that's not off the head, that's just off the plastic. Uh, good stuff. Alright, so. My gut tells me that something else is screwed on this drive. And if the read right hand is bad, it's bad. It is. Anyway, I've done all I can do for this moment. I think what I'm going to do is turn everything off, let it rest overnight, and then have at it again tomorrow, making sure that Penny doesn't come up here and try and jump around any. All right. So, if anybody has any suggestions, please help me. Alright, well, that's it for today. Thanks so much for coming. Always an adventure here. Until we meet again, bye for now. Hello, thanks for dropping in. I have let all of this sit peacefully and quietly for a good many hours. So let's see if anything has changed. I did notice, like, a lot of the time when I was tinkering on this drive, it really wasn't giving any indication that it was really trying to read. And it may be that some of the other times near the end of our time together last time, it was maybe making a better attempt and not just giving up but we'll see oh. Oh, yeah. all right so we are on the air i don't want to hurt our chips here There'll be a great flash of light. Ooh, bitchin'. All right. Oh, let's see. All right, we're 
coming we're coming to life here so the last thing I did before leaving this all to rest was clean the head again it was filthy and as I said I did notice it did seem to maybe be thinking about trying to do something before. Let's see if anything has changed here. Well, not really. So we'll try again. We'll open 15 comma, eight comma, 15 comma, quote, I uh, zero, quote, colon, close 15. But it is struggling. screwdriver that I seek. It is not. It is not. I do try not to have my space get loaded up with stuff. Times. Now, I'm going to try something here, and I know you can't see it, but I believe the screwdriver will fit it, maybe. I think what I've just done is turn the speed adjustment. And if anything, that turn that I just did, which was about a quarter turn, made it worse. I'm going to go back to about where it was. See, it's struggling. It's struggling. When I turned it down, it didn't work. But it's thinking. So, what it is on this drive, there's a tiny little blue thing with a yellow thing in the middle. And I turned it clockwise about a quarter of a turn. I'm now going to turn it counterclockwise about a quarter of a turn. Anything I would say that that also did not really help. But it was trying. So I'm going to back it off a bit. See, it's struggling. I don't recommend tweaking these very much very often. It's 
thinking. But it's not happening. I'm thinking that probably where it was. And each time I'm doing this now, I'm just giving it the tiniest little tweak. So you get struggling when the light flickers like that. It's having some something is happening. So it just can't quite. Well, you know what I'm going to do now. I'm going to take this disc out. This is the the music disc I found amongst the bunch of discs that I got, and I'm going to just put in the test demo disc again. find the circuit board <laughs> that goes with this. Of course it's right there. A1541 consists of essentially Three things that make a difference. Um, power supply, circuit board, drive mechanism. That's pretty much it. I'm not sure. I'm sure you couldn't hear that, but when I was tweaking that, I pretty much got it back where it was. I think um, I could actually hear the drive speeding up and slowing down. You know, we don't we don't have to listen to that. sound of silence. Anyway, so there's the circuit board and the drive mechanism and the power supply. That's what there is. And if you can isolate it, you at least know what you're working with or working not with. And on this drive, I'm pretty sure it's the drive mechanism. I think. The extra switches and wires, they complicate things. Anyway, I'm going to turn this off. I am going to pull out all of this here. Someone trying to call me? Great care. Oh. I shall unplug these things. Oh, yeah. Okay, okay, okay. So 
all the wires are out. No, no, not the head is still attached. Okay. So now, which drive is that? Alrighty, so we have things to reconnect here. What I will try for a moment. So just make sure, I don't know why I unplugged all those things, because I just need to plug them back in. I will make sure that I have done no harm. In other words, this is the original drive, and it has its thing, and it's working just fine. And it's happy, and it loaded the directory. It did. So, I have not damaged anything as of yet. So this drive has four chips from the other drive inside of it. Just before I move on any further, in case there is something wonky. Going on. I'm just going to run the performance test. And I'm sure it will be fine. I'm sure. Well, as sure as I can be. So after this, I am thinking, I have to figure out how to do this and configure this, I'm thinking I want to reverse this process and have this disk drive mechanism attached to that. Let's see what's what. And I am sure, as I can be at this time, that it will work. Anyway, um, yeah, onward we go. I never thought that such a drive would cause me to spend so much time tinkering. Anyway, this is so far working, it's, it's past the mechanical test, it's writing the file. It is. And then... See, it's this next thing, I'll have to put the circuit board back on. But I won't use all the screws. And then I'll have to swap things. And see what's what. It's funny, or it, it, it's not that I don't want to give up on this. But it's it's like it's, it's it's right there. It's so close. But you know, I mean, it could be a, an alignment thing. But you'd think after that head banging, it might sort itself. And because it kind of gives an indication that it wants to read, it's like it, it, there's it's there must be something I am missing.
And you know, it's been an awesome long time since I have tried to align with these things. So much so that I'm not even, I, I really don't remember even where the adjustment is. Okay, so that has worked. That is fine. That is dandy. I knew it would be, but better to give it a test. Let's see what's wrong now. Okay. So now I'm going to get this test disk drive right out of the way. I will set it down here. Ooh. On top of another disk drive. Alright, now i got to be careful. circuit board situation. Oh. Alright. There is the board. Oh. It's missing a whole whack of chips. Of course it is. Be careful. I'm certainly not going to put any power to this until I secure it a little bit. So I'm going to put a screw in the front corner and a screw in, I think, the back middle, if I'm, I do, I can't see, okay, it's going in, okay, so, we are somewhat secure, oh dear, that is not, I forgot about the head wire, Well, that maybe it doesn't have to, but I want it to. Uh, come on. <laughs> Who would have thought? But having these switches and extra wires would cause such turmoil. Oh, come on. Maybe a Sharpie to get this right back. Where I can get my finger on it. Oh, come on. Oh, I should have been paying more attention. Come on, Sharpie. Okay. All right, so there is the head. Here is the one that has the disabling switch on it. Hello, hello.
this one, and then the one for the LED. Okay. So, we're going to do something. And I'm going to just get this into a good position to see. These are the chips that came out of the other, the test disk drive. And they're going to go in to this one. Two 6522 chips. One 6502 each one. With great care. Firm, yet gentle pressure. So when oh yes, power. We will need power onto the main board. So when we turn this on, okay, come on. When we turn this on, it should. spin. And it does. Life is good. But of course, will this work? No, it will not. Oh. Well, you know what? As I have the performance test in there, maybe I'll just run it. So it can fail. Here it is failing performance just continue. No. Not at all. So we're gonna just try the open fifteen comma quote. I zero close fifteen. Oops, file open here. Of course there it is. Trying, you know. It didn't bang the head. Oh, hold on here. Stop, stop, stop. Oh man. I what is going on here? What debauchery? I am not having the best time in attaching things this time around. I put the wrong connector in the wrong spot. Alright, let's see what happens now. Still the test disk, so we will run. It's still failing. We will not continue with that. All right. So let me once again have a really close look at the connectors here. There's the switches. get things into position to attempt this next operation. So stay tuned. Thanks so much for coming. Bye for now. But we'll be back soon. Back. Soon. Bye. Hello. We're back. Alright, I'm going to 
turn this off. So you remember, of course, as I said, three parts, main parts to a 1541. Power supply on the bottom, circuit board, drive mechanism. And this one seems to have something wonky with the drive mechanism. But how do we prove that? Well, we get our test drive here. We put it on its side. Why is this not sitting nice? It's going up here. Okay, no fall down. Alright, now. We'll pull off all the connectors. the extra wires and now if all goes as planned I should be able to unplug all the wires from this drive just like I did before with the other These ones, I think I have to do them all together. They're sort of more, oh, they're sort of more bundled together. Ooh, and they may not reach. done this before. I just have to remember that is turned off what I did before. Time to unplug. Time to put this on its end. Oh my. These things are both relatively unstable. Flip around. All right. Or fall over. Okay. Now. All right. So this. I need to be careful. get these all in the right configuration. And on the right connector, imagine that. Let me get 
Now, as I look at this one I just done, I can believe I grabbed the wrong one. I have. Okay. Gotta slide this a bit. This disk drive on this circuit board. I've got to check that again. Yep. That's okay. Well, the answer is well, except for the LED. We are there. All right. Now. Yes, that is the cable to connect to the drive. It is. Oh, what a mess. And this is a power cable entwined ever so gently. Switch it off. So, if this goes as planned, I now have this circuit board with the chips that came out of this drive connected to this mechanism, and it should come on. And it did. All right. And as we have the performance test already there, let's try and run it. So the ultimate thing, I mean, what we're really doing here is take it. We've eliminated the drive mechanism. We've got this other one that we know works. Let's see what happens. So far, it is sounding promising. It is. And I am still perplexed by that drive. I don't have just a drive mechanism handy here. Perhaps I need to look online about things about alignment. But if all else fails, this circuit board with the chips back in there is probably okay with its funny switches, which means if I were to put another drive mechanism that I know works into this drive, it would probably work. It would. I believe. So it all comes down to, and, and just troubleshooting, isolating things. Of course, in the big picture, we're isolating between three things. Okay, we passed so far. Power supply, circuit board, drive mechanism. Once you move on from there, then it comes down to chips and other components. Or, in the case of this drive, Maybe it's an alignment. Maybe. Oh, but it's been so long. I really don't remember. But perhaps there's a good video on YouTube about aligning. Perhaps. But certainly, the head on that drive was the filthiest I have ever seen. I don't remember ever cleaning the head on a drive and getting visible, awful, gross residue. Because mostly the, the, the residue is basically microscopic, 
unseeable. But not this time. And I've now cleaned it, um, well, twice, but, you know. The perplexing thing, though, is that now the drive is, it's trying. It's trying to read. I can sense it wants to, but it, something is holding it back. Alright, so we have passed the performance test in this strange configuration of things. Now, let's see. I'm going to turn this off for a second. I've lost track of where the funny switches have gone. Oh, there's the funny switches. Alright, so this one should switch the device number. If I type in run, it's going to come up and say device not present. That's alright. So I will switch it back. And this is the one. And still I'm not sure. I don't think I have a disk that I want to try this with, so I won't. But now, if I were to type run, after switching the switch and turning the drive on and off, it will go run the performance test again. Da, 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 da. So, alright, I am perplexed about this drive, because usually if the head is ruined, it won't give any indication that it's got a chance. But this one does give a little indication. It should, I remember I tweaked the speed, and it did, well where it was set was the best spot in terms of it trying. So indeed, I think I will go into YouTube, imagine YouTube, and look things up, and see what I can see, and see what I can find about alignment of the Mitsumi Electric Company, Neutronics Company Limited. I will see if there is something that I can do to tweak. The alignment. Well, I'm sure there is. There, I know there's an adjustment somewhere. I just don't remember. I just don't. And am I going to have any success with it? I don't know. I just don't know. But I will try. Anyway, this will continue to do its thing. And I will ponder. I suppose one thing I might do is um, maybe I will, once this finished doing its thing again, maybe I will leave it to torture to see if I can get anything else to fail on here. But I don't think anything will fail. I think it will be quite happy to sit there and carry on. I think. I do believe it shall. Oh, dear. Okay, it has passed. So I think what I'm going to do is type in new, and then I'm going to do the old familiar. Oh, you know what? No, 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 no. I have something better here. Well, that's a good way to really give the board and everything over there a workout. 
program called HackDisk. It will go a look here at a blank disk. Check disk will go and check every block. <coughs> and it will take a long time to do it. So we're not going to watch that. I'm going to move this cord and get everything nice and clear here. And we will soon be off the air. And we really don't need to see this because, well, we don't. So soon, this should start making more, more noises as the air we go, as it gets to some of the track sectors where it has to do more things. So it is basically checking the disk, and this will effectively torture this entire everything for the next, oh, more, maybe more than an hour. And while it's doing that. I will ponder my next move, and perhaps I will refer to YouTube to see about tweaking alignment on this drive unit. Some people might ask if it makes any difference. If I have this, see this mechanism is different than that, makes no difference. I know on, on the 4040s and 8050s and things for the different types of drive, there were ROM changes, but not these. So, thanks for coming. Thanks for being here. <sighs> we will get to the bottom of this. And if this drive mechanism is toast, well, parts are good in terms of the actual drive mechanism. There are things on there that can be used to revive other things, like the turn down door, and I'm sure other things as well. Parts are good, parts are good. But I hate giving up on anything. Anyway, thanks so much for coming. Always a pleasure. Until we meet again. Keep your stick on the ice. Bye for now.